So the time has come to take it out on the road for the first time. I'm so excited. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> it's standing right now, charging a little bit. Cables plugged in. You can see the screen there as well. 35% state of charge, it estimates right now. So the ECU is all flushed up and ready. So let's disconnect everything and uh, roll the car out again. So in order to make the car ready, I have dropped it on its wheels. I have somewhat tuned in the suspension quite manually, almost by looking at it. I mean, the steering angles, um, also the high, right, ride height of the suspension. So you have like four fingers there. You have four fingers there. And you have four and a half fingers in the rear here, on this side. And over here, four and a half fingers as well. So I'm expecting the car to drop a little bit once it's been standing now for, I guess, a few days. Uh, on its own rubber cones, they will set a little bit. So then I will probably have time to adjust it one more time before the exhibition, before the fair. Yeah. So as you know, I have exchanged the front drum brakes to disc brakes. And uh, apparently the, the wheels pop up, <laughs> pop out a little bit more than they did before. These are only three and a half inch wide rims. So they are 145 millimeters wide the tires. So pretty much as slim as you can have it. I uh, forgot to update the software to the latest version because right now the uh, reverse is limited to like five Newton meters. So <laughs> as you can see, I was barely able to move over this uh, cable <laughs> on the front tires. So I need to, to uh, increase that torque figure a little bit. Uh, and maybe I need to do that for, for uh, going forward as well. I think I limited it to 20 Newton meters right now. Maybe I dare to go up to, to 40 or something, I don't know. So uh, one thing I noticed is that the brake pedal, when fully lit up, still shows a value of like 1 or 2%. And as long as there is at least 1% of brake, then I will not get any torque. So I sometimes feel this like hiccup when uh, the, uh, the sensor is just wobbling a little bit on the brake pedal. But now, full throttle. 3, 2, 1, go! And there you have the hiccup. Ah, uh, and then I just use my other foot to lift up the throttle pedal or the brake pedal. And here we go! And it's so silent in here. I mean, the soundproofing I've done of all the car, it's really showing. And also, I mean, if you don't have the, <laughs> the combustion engine, it's, uh, it's dead silent can hear a small little hum, but that's everything. I'm so satisfied. I'm so satisfied. So we are back in the workshop again. Uh, everything worked 
I mean, almost flawlessly. I was really surprised by that. I mean, you usually find some critical bugs when you're out testing, but no, not this time. Um, and for the torque figures as well, uh, it was really slow, the car, of course, uh, but that was expected. Um, so right now I will, I will increase the torque to 45 Newton meters, both reverse and forward, but also for region. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> small, small things to fix. Uh, I will definitely take another test ride today. Uh, this was, it was so much fun, <laughs> so much fun.